all right good day good day and welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel welcome to spirit soul energy and this reading is going to be for the aries all right so for those of you guys that are coming back welcome back go ahead and hit like tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts all right so spirit what do we have for aries so this is our life path message for aries okay all right also if you guys are interested in personal readings um you could contact me on my uh, spirit soul coaching website and you can book through there or um, if you're interested in becoming a patreon i do have a patreon which is spirit soul energy as well all right so what do we have aries all right so let's see hmm so aries the divine is saying that you are supposed to be this great teacher and they're saying that um you need to learn from these spiritual experiences. So whatever you've been going through, you know, these different tests or, or different um, things that have been occurring in your life, Spirit is saying that it's time that you learn from them because you are supposed to be an advocate for them and being a great teacher. So these experiences that you um, endured, they weren't meant for you to, you know, be broken or you know be torn down spirit is saying that you're supposed to be a great teacher for them all right so something to think about all right spirit is also saying that they want you to track down your desires all right so the, the hunter card came out so they want you to track down your desire what is it that you want to do all right because it may not be what you're doing at the moment okay so maybe you 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 were interested in this thing once upon a time but it's no longer fueling your fire remember you are a fire element all right so it's no longer fueling your fire so you need to find something else that you're extremely passionate about because once you find that thing that you are extremely passionate about guess what's going to happen you're going to hit it and you're going to hit that ground running so Spirit is saying that they want you to track down that desire. So whatever that desire is. So when you're doing your meditation and you're doing all of your, you know, all of your work, you know, talk to spirit so that you can get gain assistance and receive those downloads as to what that true desire is. Because I, I got a feeling that you already know what these desires are, but it's just like, you know, so many things are coming up that, you know, is kind of like getting pushed to the wayside, pushed to the wayside. So definitely hunt down those desires all right oh spirit is also saying that you know you are going to be seeing things from from a higher perspective at least they want you to they want you to see things from a higher perspective see things differently and and this is why the eagle card came out because a, a, a lot of birds you know all these birds they can fly but none quite soar like the eagle all right and none quite you know um raise their young like the eagle does okay the eagle take their children their little you know children to the highest mountains and push them off and them fly you know so spirit is saying that they need you to be seeing things from a level like that you're not a pigeon you know they they don't want you to fly at pigeon level they want you to see it from an eagle's perspective see it from a higher perspective so whatever the situation is that you went through again it was supposed to help you become this great teacher that you are all right and so spirit is saying they want you to see that situation from a different angle okay so these are the situation was something that was you know supposed to be done as a tool for you to be able to teach others about okay not for you to dwell on and become depressed about and and stay in that energy okay Oh, and so Spirit saying, be that peacekeeper. Like, there's no need for you to always be right. They want you to embrace the energy of peace. All right? Like, in many cases, you probably already know you're right. But Spirit is saying, like, you don't have to always, you know, let people know that you're right. Just be right and keep it moving. But keep the peace. Because if, you, if, you're, not, if you're not maintaining your peace, then what's happening is you, you're kind of like, throwing off the frequency of the messages that the divine is sending you so it's going to be hard for you to locate what those desires are or what those intentions are that the divine have for you if you're always in conflict with something because you're not at peace and you have to be at peace okay 
Ooh, so high priestess. This mystical power, all right, is about to come out. This high priest, high priestess energy. So this very mystical power is about to show up in your life, okay? And you're going to be seeing it really soon, you know? So definitely need to have that peace because that desire that they told you that they wanted you to hunt down and those perspectives that they wanted you to see is going to come out full force here with this high priest high priestess energy all right so you're going to be walking around like a god slash goddess okay watch watch Oh, so follow the voices of your soul again spirit is saying that they need you to be able to follow your intuition all right, you need to be able to, you need to, you need to trust yourself more because what I'm feeling is, is like you're second guessing what spirit is sending you. So they're saying like, hey, we're, we're giving you the messages. Can't you hear it? You know, so you need to follow those voices of your soul, you know, and that's part of maintaining peace. Because once you maintain peace, you'll be able to understand whether it's ego or whether it's, you know, spirit. All right. And so spirit is saying, trust your intuition here. All right, so definitely, you guys, uh, trust your intuition. No one knows you better than you. In spirit, of course, but the divine knows you. But I'm just saying, gotta trust yourself, Aries. All right. Spirit, what else do we have for Aries? What else do we have? All right. Ooh, all right, so. Golden opportunity. So again, the high priestess, high priest energy that we were talking about earlier, the spirit is saying that there's a golden opportunity coming. So important doors are about to open for you. And spirit is saying that they're making a way for you to walk right through these doors. All right. So very, very important opportunities are about to come your way. And you have to be still and in peace so that you can see them. And when these opportunities come, spirit is saying you're going to be able to walk right through them and you're going to thrive. All right. And you're going to be able to, this, this, what is passion, this, 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 that's why spirit is saying find your passion because you need to understand what your passion is. So when that door open, you can run through it. All right. But if you don't understand what your passion is, then the door open, you're going to be like, oh, ooh, ooh, somebody open the door. No. Spirit is saying that, hey, that's that opportunity, okay? Spirit is also saying, you know, go near bodies of water. Like, they need you to spend time when, near water here. You know, so spend the time near the water, like lakes, rivers, and all that stuff. It's like recharges your battery. So maybe you're a person that loves to travel. You know, you love to be near the beach or something like that. Spirit is saying that, hey, you know, you need to get near water. That's for a lot of your things, like a lot of your gifts, a lot of your passion, and all that stuff is going to come to life, okay? So, yeah, a lot of that stuff is going to come to head once you get near the water. So, go ahead and take a vacation, you know, go go catch a boat somewhere, get on a cruise, maybe possibly um, going up the street to a lake going near a pond, something, going to the park, you know, but getting us having a picnic in the park near a, a body of water, you know, it could be a small body of water, but Spirit is saying that, you know, you need to recharge there, okay? All right, so there has been some discontentment and boredom, and I believe that a lot of this discontentment and boredom has come from, you know, this situation that um, Spirit presented earlier in the reading, all right, but overall you know once you if you if you look at how he's he's holding his head down here and his discontentment and his boredom but if you look on the other side there's still hope there's a lot of light on the other side you know and in this situation the grass is greener aries on this side all right so just take that into consideration the grass is greener on that side all right so so there's some deception and envy going on like somebody is jealous of y'all Somebody is very envious of you guys. Some deception and some envy. Like they, they have harboring some resentment. Or maybe you, maybe you're low key jealous of the situation that's going on right now, with someone else. But there is some definite deception and envy going on. But it more so looks like um, someone is, you know, being deceptive towards you and envious toward you. And that's something that you have to be aware of. All right, because that energy that's throwing that energy on you, all right? So, looking out for deception. 
Mm. Now, Aries, don't go out. You know, I know y'all like to search and investigate things. Don't go out and start trying to investigate who could it possibly be. It'll reveal itself in due time. That's why you got to be still and and in your energy, you know? Still and in your energy. You know what? I'm going to go to my... Uh, I'm going to go to my heart deck here. And then I'll come back to my therapy deck. Alright, so... We're, we're here. We're still on the life path. And then we're going to go to... Um, we're just going to go wherever spirit leads us. Because... No particular order here. Alright, so... Okay, so yeah, definitely there's going to have to be some opening up here. Um, Spirit is saying that you need to open up more. Like, you've been kind of closed off and it's time for you to open up. You know, open up to people, open up to things around you, open up to different opportunities. Like, be open. Don't be closed off about this. Because I believe that if you maintain, you know, if you continue to be closed off about whatever this situation is, like, I believe that it's gonna it's gonna block this window of opportunity for you. Okay, so spirit is saying to open up. All right, you know, and maybe maybe and if it's a divine masculine um, energy, maybe you open it up to your divine feminine energy, um, the female in your life. Okay, but spirit is saying definitely to open up. Spirit is also saying that you are about to blossom. Like things are about to unravel very quickly. Again, that goes back to finding that passion, all right? Aries, that fire sign, okay? And so it's up to you to find this passion. You find this passion, you're going to see things coming together like no other, all right? So definitely a little small rocky storm. We'll see a little boredom and discontentment, and that may have something to do with this energy um, of retrograde, you know, but... Overall, it's a very good reading. But Spirit sent for you to open up so that you can blossom. Okay? Alright, so now back to this therapy thing. Alright, so here we go with this light worker energy again. So, um, Spirit is saying that you have come to the earth to teach. Alright? So, you need to be teaching. You need to be doing your, you need to be doing your, um, your duty. Alright? You need to be activating these gifts and teaching teaching and healing people all right so that you can please the divine as well spirit is also saying that there's a lot of information about to come through your crown chakra here all right so spirit is saying for you to pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers so you've been praying about something you've been asking to you've been asking the divine for something and they're saying that they're sending you these messages and they need you to pay attention. That's probably why on your second um, deck, they were saying, hey, we need you to trust your intuition because we're sending you these messages. And here you are just totally disregarding again, missing this opportunity. All right. Open up. So maybe possibly even open it up to spirit so the spirit could drop these nuggets into your crown so that you can have the answers that you need to pursue the goals the dreams and the desires that you want to pursue all right so yeah that that's it that's what spirit is saying spirit is like okay we need you to go ahead and and get it on together okay because we're trying to see these messages spirit what do we have for aries um what do we have for the aries um spiritual gifts here what do we have for the airy spirit to get there? Alright, let's see. I can't wait to get my nails tied down too. It's making it difficult for me to grab up my decks. That means it's time. Spirit, what do we have for Aries and their gifts? What else do we want them to know about their gifts, their talents? What else do we want them to know? Alright, Aries. Let's see. So Spirit is saying, energy healing here, all right? Energy healing. I hope you guys can see that. It say your natural energy healing abilities are important, are an important part of your life purpose. Again, so you guys are supposed to be healing. That's what Spirit is saying. Like, you guys are supposed to be out here doing this work. And it's earth angels. You see, this is an earth angel, and she's meditating. And this is an earth angel, and she's holding the med as well. You know, and so the divine is saying, y'all supposed to be out here doing this work, doing this spiritual work. And 
you guys are not opening up here <laughs> they need you to open up to these talents and gifts so they can give you these messages and some of you guys are are um you know activated in your in your spiritual work but at the same time you're still missing the message so there are some things that need to be cleared up okay so spirit is saying that you need to polish up your skills here practice practice make perfect all right so polishing up those skills making sure that you're ready for when it's time for when when they send you out here to go on these missions to activate things you know they want to make sure you're ready okay so spirit is saying you need to practice it all right so i just want to tap into the love really quick and see what's going on here see what spirit has for you in the love department all right, so spirit, what do you have? Okay, so spirit is saying that past life relationships, so you have known each other before. So spirit is saying that there's a relationship from your past life, you know, and you guys have known each other before. So maybe the person that you're with is a past life relationship or the person that's coming in is a past life relationship. Like you guys have known each other before or you probably just met somebody and it seems like, oh man, you know, I've known this person forever or I feel like I've known this person forever, you know, and that's because that's a past life relationship. So you guys have definitely um, been around each other before in the past life, you know, or this could be a relationship resurfacing from uh, past relationships. So let me see. So maybe possibly even a past relationship resurfacing. All right, Spirit, what do we have? All right, what do we have for Aries? Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> this is a new little deck, y'all. All right, so. So. A relationship is evolving to the next phase. All right, so healing the inner child growth. All right, so it looks like you've been working on some inner child work. So this relationship um, is, your relationship is uh, like a butterfly. So it's going off into its next phase, you know. It's, it's ascending to its next phase, all right. So maybe um, this uh, relationship that you're in, this past life relationship, you know, it's elevating. It, it's going into its next phase. Maybe you guys are talking about marriage or something like that. All right. And so, um, so empath and narcissist parent that I'm being charmed to use enable boundary. Okay. So you definitely want to, uh, for some of you out there that are trying to move into a relationship with, with someone that you really don't know, you definitely want to look out for, um, you, you know, set some boundaries for, uh, you know, that narcissistic behavior. You know, maybe set your intentions even uh, and tell spirit not to allow, um, not to allow that type of energy around you because it's saying that, spirit is saying that, you know, you definitely want to set some some boundaries when it comes to n narcissists, okay? So, they say being charm or use enable boundaries, all right? So, yeah. Definitely want to set some boundaries for that so that these um what I'm getting is that that um you know, some of you guys may have experienced a narcissistic relationship before or or deceptive type of relationship before, so it'll be good for you to you know put some protections in place when moving forward in this relationship okay not all of you just the ones that's having you know some a few issues here in the relationship space all right and so spirit is also saying that uh, for you guys that are in a relationship and in these healthy relationships to capture um to recapture romance all right and allow your inner and you for spirit to shine all right so they want some playfulness all right you know get back to the things that got y'all together in the first place you know so maybe going on dates having some fun you know just something you know telling jokes you know just kicking it you know how you guys used to do so that's what spirit is saying so get back to that playfulness all right so not bad in the relationship department you know you got a few little you got uh you know your past life relationship 
relationship that feels like y'all been together forever. And then spirit is saying to get back to that playfulness. And they saying that these, you know, these relationships are moving on to the next level. But there are some that are entering into relationships or may be trapped into trapped in, you know, what's considered a toxic relationship. So asking the divine to protect you against that narcissistic type of energy. All right. All right, what else do we have? What else do we have? This is almost it, Aries. We're about to wrap it up, okay? Let's see what else do we have. Alright, so let's see. So purification. So it's time to do some cleansing, alright? Some mind, body, and soul purification. So definitely doing these detoxes, okay? So doing these detoxes. Working on, you know, getting your mind, body, and spirit together. Hey, maybe even doing some yoga because, because uh, yoga, you know, it it goes hand in hand. It's like the mind, the body, and the soul all works together. All right, so you'll be detoxing. You'll be eating right. Your your mind will receive more clarity. All this good stuff, and it'll just all flow in unison, you know. But definitely, spirit is saying that it's time for you to do some cleaning. All right, and detoxifying. All right, so whatever that means for you, it's time for you to, you know, let go of a lot of that stuff that you've been doing. All right, and this is also going to help with the spiritual picture as well. It's going to help you be able to receive these messages that you're supposed to receive. All right, so inner wisdom, say you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate actions without delay. Okay, Aries, so your message from the divine is so clear. All right. Your message from the divine is so clear. So what the divine is saying here is that you've been through a lot, all right? And you've been through so many different things that you are now able to take these things that you've been through and transmute them into a lesson in order to teach and heal other people who have experienced this same exact or similar situation, all right? Spirit is also saying that they want you to take this situation. They want you to see it from a perspective that, you know, not not from a negative light, but from a positive light, you know, and, and see it from a see it from a different angle, see it from a higher perspective. And they also want you to see the things that you're working on and the things that you desire from a different level, too, because remember, they want you to track down your desires. So tracking them down so that they can help you cultivate those gifts so that you can unleash them. All right. If you're just saying that just maintain your peace, you don't have to be right all the time. Even if you feel right, you don't have to be right all the time. They just want you to maintain your peace. I, I feel like that's the reason why it's your fourth card is because that's something in the present that you, you know you're continuously working on. Okay. All right. So you're definitely going to embody this high priest, high priestess energy. There has been a little discontentment in the past, you know, you know, a little disruption. All right. You know, feeling as those, you know, there's people that may be envious of you or you know, you know, just deceiving you in some way, you know, so you may be experiencing that, but remembering that there is hope that, that there is, um, light outside of that discontentment. So spirit is definitely wanting you to open up to them more. They want you to understand that you have an endless amount of possibility. All right. And they're going to be supporting you throughout this entire journey. They're saying that you will work best you know, this embodies the water so that you can, you know, get back to yourself again. You know, maybe go on vacation. That way you can be able to receive these messages. But that's that's also a way for you to recharge because you've been doing a lot of overworking and overthinking. All right. Spirit is also saying that they, you know, employ you to be an earth angel. All right. Because they want to be able to receive, send you these downloads and these messages you know, so that you can be able to answer your prayers or, you know, live out the life that you want to live, you know, but they also need for you to be in service to them as well. Again, we already explained the relationship for those of you that are in a relationship and it's going well, you know, just incorporate that play, knowing that this is a past life type relationship, maybe someone that's not in a relationship, um, maybe revisiting a relationship from the past, you know, and just some things to look out for, you know, those types of behaviors to look out for, um, 
But overall, Spirit is saying that once you, you know, detox and clear all of this up, you'll be able to trust yourself more because at the end, they want you to trust what you already know. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like the content on this page. If you like the content, go ahead and leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all later.